Why does the stock market keep going up? There are seven reasons why the stock market keeps going up. They are the coronavirus, yeah, big data, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, 3D printing, genome editing, and robotics. That's why the market's going up. Now you say, wait a second, you started with the corona cryolis, is this actually making the market go up? Yes, because you remember the market reflects the future. The market discounts the present and predicts the future. One thing we know for sure is this can never happen again. We will, through technology, through the changing technology in the world, we will see to it that a crisis, a pandemic, never happens again. Well, what is going to make sure that that pandemic never happens again? Artificial intelligence, big data, quantum computing, genome editing, and possibly robotics. This all would have happened anyway with all these converging technologies, but the coronavirus has, has pushed the accelerator to the floor. It is so important that it get done and it get done quickly. The other element that is going to enter into this and, and present an investment opportunity is 5G because we're going to need 5G to make it possible to eliminate any future pandemics. I watched this weekend Hamilton. Nita and I had been wanting to see Hamilton for, for as long as it's been out but could never get tickets, and therefore we never got to see it. But Disney put it on TV today. What does that have to do, Gary, with, with uh, the stock market keep going up? Hamilton is about a immigrant coming to this country and being involved in the birth of a nation. And if you look back at history, it is the most important change in our history that created the possibility of everything that we have currently. So Hamilton, to me, as I sat there and watched it, I just could not get out of my mind, I'm reliving this. I'm not an immigrant. We're not in the rebirth or a birth of a nation, but we're in the rebirth of a nation. There's a phrase in one of the early songs that he keeps saying, I'm not going to throw away my shot. That just resonated with me. I'm not going to throw away my shot. They, and they just hammered the word shot. And what he was saying is, this is my opportunity of a lifetime to be in part of something historical, and I'm not going to throw away my shot. And that's where we are today. We are at the change of our nation. We are at the change of the world through technology, and technology is going to give you a shot, whether it be through smart investing or stepping into this change. Think about this. We had an industrial revolution. Let's assume you were back there in that industrial revolution and you wanted your shot. You wanted to be a part of it. What would you have to do? Well, first of all, you'd have to go out and buy a big piece of land and then you'd have to build a factory, and then you'd have to hire a lot of people, and then you'd have to market a product. That would take a lot of money. But in this digital revolution, it doesn't take a lot of money. I, I can shoot these videos with my cell phone. I already own it. A tripod and, and a stand might cost me $70. And then I just open up a YouTube channel. It, it, and, and, and I have the potential 
because I don't have a piece of land. I don't have a factory. I don't have an, a, a bunch of employees. It's just me right now. I have the potential to make more equivalently than the guy who took advantage of the in Industrial Revolution. I, I, it, it, it's mind-boggling, but it's true. So I watched Hamilton, and it said, give me one time with the torch. I'm not going to throw away my shot. Well, this is my torch, and I want you to look for your torch. And I want, it, and if it's investing, you know the big six. We have talked extensively about the big six, the companies that are going to take us into the next era, the companies that are providing me the ability to take my shot that are going to provide you the ability to take your shot. So you need to invest in them. My job now also becomes is take this to the big 12. I've added Tesla to it. I'm looking strongly at, at Square. I don't know that Square is the company that is going to disrupt the banking industry, and it must be bit disrupted because it doesn't work. We've proven that numerous times. It doesn't work. So it's going to be replaced. Is Square the company to do it? I don't know. I found another company that has shown me the way to the smart toilet. They're all ready, and that's in my newsletter. It's, it's in my newsletter this morning, and I'm going to research it. And I'm going to, because it's not a profitable company. But then neither was Facebook or Amazon or Google initially. So I have to open my mind in my investment world and say, okay, let's take this big seven, that includes Tesla, up to a big 12. And who are the people that are going to be a part of it? Another line in the movie is being in the room where it happens. What does that mean? Being in the room where it happens. This is the room. This is the time. But you've got to step into the room. You can, like 99.9% .9 of the world, you can stand on the outside and watch it happen and then say, wow, wasn't that something? But you didn't participate. You didn't buy the right stocks. You sat there and said, they're overvalued. Yes, they are overvalued in any other world but the world we're living in today. And they're cheap. Look at Tesla. My God, I'm up 60-some percent in the last 60 days. Why is that happening? Because it's an emerging technology. Why is does Amazon, Google, Apple, Facebook keep going up? Because it's an emerging technology. They own the data. And data is going to become gold, particularly when we get down to, do you ever want to have a, a pandemic in this country again? When we get down to the serious nitty gritty and somebody says, well, with your data and with your smart toilet and your smartphone and your, 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 your smart toothbrush and checking your blood, we can give you a ticket to anywhere you want to go that says you don't have the virus. When that technology hits the street, you're going to make a decision. Do I want to play in that game or don't I? Do I want to get on an airplane or don't I? Do I want to get on a cruise ship or don't I? Later this month, the, 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 the big six executives are being called to Washington. That probably means a, a video. One of the subjects I'm sure that is going to be discussed is who owns th this data? Who owns Kerry's data? And I think the decision is going to be made. Kerry owns Kerry's data. And Kerry decides how it is used. And Kerry's going to say, tell me I don't have a communicable disease 
every morning. Tell me who does. Tell me where I can go to be safe. That's going to happen. That data is going to be decided, and the quicker it is decided, and it puts it in your court to make a decision how it's used, the faster this whole thing is going to explode. And it would not have happened if it hadn't been for the coronavirus. So, on the top of my list as to why this world is going to change for the better, is the coronavirus. Now, that sounds crazy, but it's going to be one of the unintended consequences of the coronavirus. So I'm going to ask you, will you be in the room? Will you take your shot? Will you grab the torch and go forward? I am. And I invite you to come along with me. I did a video yesterday about how to become a millionaire. You choose how you want to take your shot. You choose which room you want to be in. Because, damn it, it is your choice. It doesn't, it doesn't, that choice doesn't belong to anybody other than you. This could not have happened any other time in my lifetime. And I doubt if it's going to be as easy as it is today, anytime in the future. It's your decision. Are you up for it? 